Welcome to the south of France and this special edition Caterham Monaco. Now we've got two options today, go down to Monte Carlo and find out what the local residents make of it or go up to the hills and see how it drives. I think it has to be the latter. So this special edition of Monaco follows a bit of a tradition at Caterham, they've done these before, they had a Bewley and a Prisoner. What is it? Well, it's basically just a road sport with a few extra bits. Special paint scheme, bare aluminium with the stripe inspired by the Monaco colour scheme. So they've got a 125 horsepower engine and a five-speed box, basic road sport chassis. Inside we've got leather seats, a standard and some nice red carpet. Now I don't know what you're thinking, so a few extra bits and you're paying a lot more money than a regular car. Well actually you're not because the Monaco is actually slightly cheaper than the regular road sport on which it's based. certainly faster and sharper caterums like the R300 and the R500 super lights. I don't know, on a day like this, on a road like this, there's something very appealing about driving caterums entry model. There's plenty of performance to have fun and you know what, I actually quite like the talky nature of the lower powered engines. It's such a nice car to drive and you really feel everything that's going on. <laughs> I actually ran a long-term Caterham for the magazine, a very similar spec to this, for about nine months and 10,000 miles, and within the realms of Caterhams, it's a very easy car to live with. The only thing that I had on that car, which I reckon this car could do with, is a limited slip diff. And one of the great things about a Caterham is it teaches you so much about your driving. It teaches you to read the road, to not rely on all the electrical gizmos most cars have now and it teaches you what the car's going to do and it gives you a really clear indication of how the car's reacting to your inputs the curious thing about this special edition is that for a car named after one of the most overpriced places on earth it's somewhat of a bargain if you like the color scheme it's a great entry point into Caterham ownership. Today's also been a great refresher on how satisfying the base Caterham is. Not only is it great to drive, but it's universally admired, equally at home on a UK B road, as it would be if you drove it down the coast here and parked it in Casino Square. <laughs>